The leaders after the short dance, Maya and Alex Shibutani, the two-time U.S. national champions, reigning world bronze medalists, coming off a very fiery, spectacular short dance. Very meticulous approach for them so far in this program. You can see they're they're really focusing on making sure they're hitting all of the points they, they've discussed prior to this. But this program is, is so well thought out, so well constructed. They don't leave anything to chance. We talked about this being their first competition of the season. So many of the other skaters in all of the disciplines have chosen to skate in these smaller events leading into the Grand Prix. Why not them? I think it's just a personal decision. They really wanted to make sure that they were 100% comfortable with their material before putting it out. Whereas a lot of teams will go out knowing that there's going to be some potentially major changes, but these guys, the first impression was so important, they wanted to give themselves the time to get it all right. Alex Shibutani in their eighth season on the Grand Prix, 13 Grand Prix medals, plus a bronze from the Grand Prix final 
last year, and to me, they look like they're in mid-season form. Absolutely, and, and, and I think the main thing here that they wanted to accomplish in this free dance was to go out there and skate it cleanly, confidently, and, and they did exactly that. They, they nailed all of the, the technical elements. They, had, they maintained speed. They maintained flow and energy. I think that there's a, a lot more room to grow in this program than in the short dance. I think the, the confidence is there, but just the abandon that the, the music is calling for, you know, that, that cold play, it's so powerful. It's, it's evocative. And um, just, I would just say, if they could get their whole body involved a little bit more, I think it'll bring the whole program to life. Um, but otherwise, very well done. I mean, I, I think, as you said, this is their first competition with this program. The, I mentioned the stress that comes along with being in the front. Um, you know, and they handled all of that beautifully, and they did exactly what they needed to do. They did, they did their job. Here you can see the difficult entry into the lift here. She flips up, constant movement, making it look so easy. Just one of one of their hallmarks, I think, is just the ease with which they they go in and out of their elements, and and that's one of the the benefits to thinking it through so much. I mean, I mean, really, no no one considers the, the moments, the musicality of, of their elements the way the, the Shibatanis do. It, they, they've really got it down to a science and it, it pays off big time for them when they have to compete. When she was just a girl, she expected the world. Here you can see the rotational lift. Nothing's better than hitting that finishing pose, knowing you've done everything that you needed to do in a competition. That's a really special feeling. That's something that you thrive on as a competitor. Gets you up early in the morning, that's for sure. 111.94 <laughs> to put that score in perspective. The highest of the season for the free dance came from Virtue and Moyer, 115.80, so about a four point difference there. And they're, they're definitely working uphill if they want to topple the, the two teams that were ahead of them at the World Championships. But I think they're off to a really good start here at their first Grand Prix. And that will easily put the Shibutanis into first place with almost a five-point margin now over Bobrova and Soloviev.